Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do a A4 size Gothic cross on this piece of wood here. This is just standard, what I call shelving wood. And as always, we're going to need our stencil first, template. And this is the one we're going to do today. So there's quite a lot going on there. If I had bigger wood, I would have done a bigger cross. But that's all we're going to use today. So we've got our template on. As always, just get your carbon paper underneath like so. Stick it down with some painter's tape and draw around it. That's all we've got to do. Once you've done that, you'll end up with something like this. And as you can see, that's all ready now. I'm ready to route out. As always, the bits I'm going to use are my standard CNC bits. These come in a little package like so. These are really cheap to purchase off eBay. But because they do have a smaller shaft on them, you require what they call a collet. And that's basically just that little tube that slots over there. Now that will fit into your router because it's now a quarter inch shaft on it. So I will use this to basically draw around all the lines we can see. And it's quite a small bit, so like these central bits here, I'll just use this to remove these sections and all. We'll put a slightly bigger one on, a one eighth bit straight cut. So these bigger pieces. Once that's all out, I want to lower these circle at the back. And then eventually we'll cut it all out with a band score, excuse me, a band saw or scroll saw. We'll see how we get on with them. Right, you can see the general idea from that. We've gone all the way around the inner piece of our frame on the cross. I've also took a couple of sections out here, just so I get a general idea what it's going to look like. So yeah, we've gone around this section here. What I need to do now is I'll continue and go around all this as well now. And then we'll come back when I've done this, and then we'll start taking out the inner section. Right, we've done all we want to do with this CNC bit. We've gone all the way around everything. The smaller bits we've took out straight away. I'm going to continue with the CNC bit, just to get these smaller ones out, these smaller sections. And then we'll see about changing the bit. But it's, yeah, it's coming out nicely. And if you notice here, it's still rough and ready. I'd rather come on the inside of the line, and on the outside of the line there, because you can always nibble at it later when we take out this middle section. And then I'm going to use a Dremel with some kind of sanding burr on. And we'll just tidy these bits up. Just the way it works for me. So yeah, we'll carry on and take out the inner sections now. Right, we've finished with our router. We've gone all the way around that. I did all this with the CNC bit in the end. It took a bit longer, but there's no racing. 
So that's all done now. The next stage will be eventually to tidy this up with the Dremel. Where these crisses are, I want to just slightly cut those in and just sand it down slightly, just to give the impression of it being a plaited effect or weaved effect or whatever you want to call it. So like these bits here, a little bit on that side and a little bit on that side, that side and that, and so on. But we'll work that on later. What we're gonna do now is, once we've cut it out, and these four middle bits here, we we'll use the router again and just cut a little slit in the either side, and maybe just lower this circle down. Maybe not quite half the thickness of this piece of wood, but we'll see how we get on. We'll uh, cut it out next and take it from there. Right, we've gone round that with the scroll saw. It's still very rough. I'm just lacking that confidence to actually get right up on that line. That doesn't really bother me. That's what sanding machines are for. So once I get my sander on here, we'll sort this all out. Doesn't matter about this being too rough because most of this is going to come away down to the halfway mark. So the router will straighten all that out. And the sanding birds on my Dremel will sort all that out. So it's no panic. So it looks rough as we're going along. But by the time we get to the end, hopefully it'll look a lot tidier.
Right, that's as far as I want to go with regards to sanding and playing on with it. I've got a bit of a weaving effect going down there. Originally, I was going to paint the background black. So this would really stand out. But I'm actually liking all the wood that's involved on this one. So I'm just going to put some linseed oil on. And eventually, it'll just hang on the wall. You could have made a nice base for it. Or whatever you're happy with. But for me, I'm just going to throw the linseed oil on. And uh, maybe some polyurethane spray afterwards. And then this little project will be finished. So here's our boiled linseed oil. And it's just a case of throwing it on. Let it have a good soak. And then we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Right, that's all nicely dried now. I sprayed a couple of coats of polyurethane spray over the top just to give it a little bit of shine. But as far as I'm concerned, that's this project finished. I put a little slit in the back there just to hang it with. Like I said before, you could have made a nice base for it. But that's another project altogether. Okay, there you have it. One Celtic cross. 11 inches by 8.5. Router project and scroll saw. Thank you for watching.